Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to replace the welding wire in a Lincoln Electric MIG and FlexCore welder. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and open up the cover, loosen this wing nut and take this keyed washer off, followed by the empty old spool. Before you do this though, always unplug your welder before working in this compartment. Now we've got our new replacement spool. I'm going to go ahead and get that opened up. These instructions here on the back, I'm going to take those off so we'll be able to thread the spool on the spindle. And here you want to take note of which way your spool is wound. And basically, you want that spool to spin counterclockwise when it's uh, unraveling through the welder. So then go ahead and get that onto that spindle. Again, making sure that you've got that counterclockwise rotation. And then return the keyed washer and tighten down the wing nut. You want to get this nice and snug for now. We'll go ahead and loosen this up later. Now the next thing we're going to do is take apart our torch, take the nozzle and the tip off, and then pull out all of this old welding wire from the previous spool. We don't want it to block our new wire from making its way to the, the tip of the torch. Now, as you can see, I've also opened up the feeding mechanism by pushing this black knob back toward the spool. And now we're gonna take the wire and push it through this feeding mechanism into the torch cord. Just gonna go ahead and push it through that spring, line it up in the notch on this little wheel, and then into the nozzle on the feeding assembly. And just go ahead and push as much as you can through in a second here. I'm gonna drop this down, snap that into place. Make sure you adjust that knob for the correct tension for the wire you have. Turn your welder on, turn the speed up, and pull the trigger until the welding wire makes its way all the way through the torch. There you go. It's going to trim off the end here, and now we're going to put our torch back together, putting the tip on first. Get that nice and secured. And then we'll put on the nozzle as well. Now something I kind of skipped over is this little uh, notched wheel on the feeder assembly. It's got two notches in it, one for a larger diameter wire and one for a smaller. If you take this black nut off, you'll be able to flip that device over depending on which wire size you're using in your welder. And that's pretty much it. Thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you on the next one.